Hello and welcome to the home set. I'm so excited to show you today the components that we are going to be using for our chicken coop solar shed combination that will power our barn and our well. The components for this small system are highly customizable and top quality. And I'm going to talk about three reasons why we are using what we're using. Let's go. In addition to those three reasons, toward the end of the video, I'm going to show you the solar room itself. It's almost complete and ready for installation. So stick around to the end to see what we've got going on in there. So when it comes to solar systems, there are a lot of different options out there. And there are a lot of different types out there. And not everyone is good for every application. I had mentioned in the past that my old GrowWatt system was going to go in for this application. But I had thought about that a little bit and I had the opportunity to show you something different. This GrowWatt 5000 ES was amazing. It worked incredibly well in my house and it powered everything I needed it to power. It is an all-in-one system and those are great for many different applications. It contains the AC charger, the inverter, and the MPPT. And here on the channel, I've already showed you two different all-in-one systems, the EG46500 EX and this GrowWatt 5000 ES. So like I said, it's a great opportunity to show you something different that is highly customizable and for a small system may work better. I know this is gonna benefit a lot of you out there who have projects that are smaller than my house, maybe the same size as my shed, maybe a small cabin, or maybe a small barn. And then I'll also talk about the specific loads that I have for this system, which makes getting a system that's more customizable a little bit better. So the third reason is I wanted to show you a high quality system and I wanted to show you the performance of that in the future. So I talk a lot about your Ford, Chevys and Hondas versus your Cadillacs, Mercedes and Lexuses. And this time we went with the Mercedes slash Lexus. So we're going to be putting in a Victron system into the solar shed for the barn because this barn is important in the operation of the homestead. And since this Victron system is highly customizable to your needs and the components are pulled apart from one another, it was a perfect fit for us. This is the Victron Multi Plus 2 that we are going to be using two of for this build. It is the 3000 kVA unit and it has inside of it the AC charger and the inverter, but the MPPT is separate. And it also has separate communication hubs like the Serbo GX. Now I'm gonna say it, but it's really easy information to find out there on how bulletproof the software is on these Victron units. Every account that I've read is that they just work and work and work and work forever, for years and years and years with zero issues. And you would expect nothing less from your Lexus or Mercedes or Cadillac. So a lot of people get intimidated by Victron because of the separate components. But I'm going to do a walkthrough for you in some future videos as we do the build on the solar shed. Now, like I said, the software on these is almost bulletproof, but I have had some issues on my other systems. So I'm looking forward to a system that I don't have to do multiple updates to or maybe even just once a year if needed. And I got all of these Victron components from Signature Solar. They have a huge variety of the different components so that you can highly customize your system. And as you saw on the solar shed, I don't have much room for a lot of panels out there. So that's where the different MPPTs are gonna come in incredibly handy. So I can customize small strings to go into these units, unlike the GrowWatt system, which does require a bit more power from the panels to be able to wake it up and for its MPP to operate in a good range. So no matter how much I love that GrowWatt, it was just not the right fit for this project. And of course, I will have all of the links to these components down in the video description below. And about halfway through the installation videos, I'm going to do a video about the breakdown on how much a system like this will cost. Let me talk a little bit about what we have here. This is the Multi Plus 2. It is a smaller inverter. It is a 120 volt inverter. So for 240 here for the barn, which is where my well and jet pump reside, I have two of these. This is the 48 volt inverter at 35 amps, but you can also get this in 12 and 24 volts. We have the Serbo GX, which is their communication hub, and you can see from the top of it, 
you can control a lot of different things with this communication hub. And it's not just solar components. There are a lot of other things that you can program in here and plug in here to control. Then they have this beautiful GX touchscreen, which plugs into the Servo GX and you can control everything via touch here. This is so cool. This is their Lynx distributor. So this is going to be your bus bars for your batteries. And look at the size of these things. That is super beefy. And then they also have these special fuses that go in here. So we have a lot of protection within this Lynx distributor for your batteries. Now, speaking of batteries, I don't have them here on camera. I don't feel like lugging around 100 pound lithium iron phosphate batteries, but this is the EG4 communications hub. This is needed actually for the Victron system only if you have the regular life power four batteries. Those are the less expensive ones, but still incredibly amazing quality batteries from Signature Solar. But if you've got the EG4 LL batteries or some other types of brands of batteries, you don't need an extra communication piece. I'm gonna save this for last. We are mounting ours on the roof of the solar shed. Now I told you in the past that I hated mounting things on roofs and putting holes in roofs, but this isn't necessary in this application because I just do not have the space for the panels on the ground. And Signature Solar also sells this roof mounting kit along with their other solution, the EG4 Bright Mount, which I did a video on in the past. If you wanna see that, click on the video at the top of the screen. So here it is. This is one of the highly customizable pieces per your system in the number of panels that you have. This is the Smart Solar Charge Controller. This is the MPPT, the 250-100TR. You can put a maximum of 250 volts DC open circuit into this from your solar panels. But here's the crazy thing. This will wake up in the morning as the sun hits the panels and start a low state of charge on your batteries at only five volts above the nominal battery voltage. So that's just 56.2 volts. So you're gonna start charging a lot earlier in the day, say, than this grow out over here because you need a full 120 volts for this to even wake up. And that is one of the reasons why Victron is so amazing. Not only that, if your application calls for it, which obviously mine does it, you can daisy chain up to 25 of these units together, which is mind boggling the size of the array that that would control, but it can do it. And you can put 5,800 watts of solar into this charge controller. And if you look, the smart solar charge controllers come in so many different configurations and that is the beautiful part of being able to customize your system per your needs. I think they have a 25070, they have a 170, they have a 140, they have a lot of them. I can't even keep them all straight. And I did wanna mention that if you wanna keep this at its absolute most efficient, that would be a two times battery voltage. So about 112.4 volts into the charge controller. In contrast, this GrowWatt 5000 ES is a 240 volt inverter. So you need a balancing transformer or midpoint transformer to split that power into two 120 volt legs. You can put a slight bit more solar in terms of wattage into this at 6,000. But like I said, to even get it to wake up and start charging, you've gotta be at 120 volts. And if you've got a limited amount of panels, that's gonna be a real challenge with the grow watt. So out in the barn, I've got a lot of big inductive loads like this table saw or any of my other large power tools chop saw, drill press, etc. But I've also got the one and a half horsepower well pump here, which is powered from the barn panel, and the one horsepower jet pump that is above ground for the water reclamation tanks. I also have a small 120 volt Lincoln weld pack welder. And then I also need to add this 10,000 BTU air conditioner into this barn, because as you can see, I'm pouring sweat here in Texas. Now I also have a lot of small loads, like a lot of battery chargers for my battery powered lawn equipment. While all that stuff starts to add up, it is still a small system. So let me show you what I've got going on here in the solar side of this shed. But for reference, I've got more of the Solar Ever 455 watt split cell panels. That's the same one I have for the house, although those are just a little bit smaller at 440 watts. All right, let's get inside. So yesterday I spent some time and added this air conditioning unit to the space. 
I'm also starting to insulate it. And that is very important for the operation of the equipment. And it's really important that you have a space that stays within the temperature parameters of the equipment you are using. It's going to put off some heat itself. So if it's in a space like this and it's not insulated at all and you live in a really hot climate like I do, then it's gonna affect the equipment. I'm also sealing up every crack and crevice in here the best that I can do. Not only to keep the temperature regulated, but to keep a lot of dust out of this space. And that's especially true on this wall because on the other side of it is the chicken coop. So I hope you are as excited as we are to see this type of system installation. And like I said before, a lot of people get intimidated by Victron because of the different separate components. But it shouldn't be too hard and I will help you the best that I can along the way. Now I want you to go click on these videos right here, which is our complete playlist on the installation of all of our systems up to date. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.